Burke, can you tell us a little bit about upcoming projects that you have? Yeah, yeah, there are some things coming up. Uh, we were just kind of talking. I, I just finished the Honest to God feature film in Chicago, which is kind of a, it's a comedy. There's a lot, there's a lot of drama uh, in, in it, though, as well. Uh, it's a faith-based type uh, comedy that uh, we just wrapped up. We have our premieres in a couple of weeks in Chicago wow. at Imagine Theaters. And then DVD and streaming will be probably in December at some point, so I'll, I'll get those updates, you know. And Burke has a hilarious line in there. Can you share that classic, what I believe will be a classic hysterical line? <laughs> so when I was in my prayer yeah. at the end? <laughs> I guess I can probably, without giving too much uh, well, away. it was in the trailer. So, yeah, it was in the yeah. trailer, yeah. Um, I, uh, without getting too, too into yeah. it. Um, I was praying, and of course I'm crying out to God to, to heal me because I had a, a, a diagnosis of a terminal illness. Well, my character isn't exactly the strongest in faith, and so he, he kind of brings in things from the outside world into his prayer, and he ends up with this, you know, Lord, see me, feel me, touch me. And basically what that was was the lyrics from a song by The Who. <laughs> Not the most appropriate thing, but it was pretty funny, you know, so we like, scratch that, I'm going to start over. Um, so there's some really funny moments in, in that movie and great cast. Daniel Adams. Daniel! I was wondering, could you call Pretzel? He has to poopy. Sorry. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. There's a good chance you have a terminal illness that could result in death in a short period of time. This is kind of like the day before a colonoscopy. You're going to die? But this time, we won't be waking up afterwards to see if they found something. I think it's important that you tell Rebecca as soon as possible, while she still has a few good years left in her. Huh? Mormons! How cool! I'm Elder Jones. I'm Elder Wallace. And you guys look so young. How cute! Chloe, they're people, not puppies. I don't want to die. I'm only in my 50s, for God's sake. Uh, for, for your sake. I, I promise you, I, I will change. Good morning, my love. Good to see you eating at the table, son. <laughs> my treat today. Why? Well, it's been a while since I've treated, so, you know. Whoa, you've never treated. I don't know. He's been acting strange ever since he went to see that Dr. Haja. Sure did. It is. Am I losing my mind? Or did I just see you hand a baggie of dog poop to Miss Tucker? Dr. Haja has been under investigation since the closing of his place of practice in Los Angeles last month for allegedly posing as a doctor, seeing patients, diagnosing them with terminal cancer, and then charging them for tests that were never performed. Yes! <laughs> um, and then I'm actually currently in the text, which is filming down oh. in Indiana. It's another faith-based film, uh, Candy Beer, Dreams Come Stephanie True. Stephanie Parker's in there. Stephanie yeah. Parker uh, was in it. I think oh. something happened and she wasn't able to, to right. stay okay. in that. Oh. Again, COVID really affected. I will be filming now in the spring for, um, Dave Payton wrote a book called Through Eyes of Grace. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's now a film. I'll be shooting that. My, my scenes, I have a smaller role in the spring. Mm -hmm. That one has Victoria Jackson from Saturday Night Live Ooh. in it. Oh, wow. um, nice. So that's another one that's coming up. And then it's just auditions. You know, a lot of things sub sub I'm submitting for. And I've done some little commercial and print type things, you know, in between. and. Uh, I mean, it's been fun. Um, I really miss being on the set of the Lone Star Justice. We did that pilot series yeah. uh, down in Texas. Mm -hmm. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. It didn't get picked up, but it was six episodes and just a really neat big set experience. So There was uh, Murder Comes to Town. That was okay. another ID network, um, kind of yeah. a crime drama. That one was just a single episode, but I played a lead detective there. I, I tell you, some of those stories are bizarre. 
I mean, they're true stories too, mm -hmm. but you, you get a lot of the background as you're going through the, the yeah. process. And yeah. the episodic, this Lone Star Justice, mm -hmm. um, you, you film as if you're filming like a standard, like a, you know, crime, you know, show, Law and Order, or, okay. a, you know, you film mm -hmm. enough material to, to put in almost an hour long, so there's a lot of script, there's a lot of dialogue, there's a lot going on, but then they edit quite a bit of it out because they have to insert interviews with real people and some of those other things, so, mm -hmm. you know, you get at the end, you're like, oh, that was so great, oh, they didn't put that in, and, but still, the, the whole storyline is, is pretty neat, um, but I've, I've really enjoyed the films, that's been fun, having a character to kind of work through, mm -hmm. you know, start to finish. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to doing some more of that, or episodic, where you know it's a consistent, recurring type nice, type character. Nice. Um, now Burke was saying that he's originally from here, West Michigan area, and that his parents own an ice cream store. Can you give a shout out to? Yeah, yeah, they they've been on it for a little while, but Stephen Sally, hey, 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 ice cream is good, right? What's the name of the? Ice cream? Um, it was Rockies, oh, okay. right in downtown Rockford. Okay. Um, and I actually on my own had one in Grand Rapids for a few years in a in a coffee shop. Uh, so I've kind of been a small business owner too, but. Yeah, God really didn't put any of this in my heart until later in life. I've been doing this only about six years now. Um, and, what is your professional background? Um, I've been in sales and business development my, pretty much my whole life out of school. I um, went to Michigan State. And uh, where I'm at right now, I've been there for 21 years, and I have so much flexibility. I have a lot of vacation time. So it's really been kind of the ideal job to have so I can do this sort of thing and I almost can do it anytime I want so I've, I'm really really blessed to be able to do you want to give the company a shout Michigan out? Michigan Retailers Association. Yay. Thanks nice. guys. Nice. And they're all on board. They love it. They, you know, tell us about what's going on oh, and you know, give fun. us updates. And, yeah. Can we just share, so a lot of people okay. think, oh okay you have to be in Atlanta or LA, Hollywood or whatever, but God is moving here in West Michigan, media production, we're here at Studio 316, other things are going on. What are your thoughts on about what God is doing right here in Michigan and the role you play in that? Yeah, I mean, it's I'm seeing it in Michigan, even in other areas too. I Years ago when I first got in, into the industry, I really felt like there was going to be kind of a move and a push of faith-based activity, I mean, in Michigan, but even, even all across, I, I think you're going to start seeing God using people, not necessarily just in faith-based productions, but even, you know, kind of as, as you know, missionaries right, yeah. almost in, into yes. the secular type of, uh, and changing, mm -hmm. you know, the whole environment there. But, but Michigan is really growing, even without some of the film incentives, you know, that we, that we had before. Um, there's a lot happening. There's a lot of creative people. There's a lot of innovative people yeah. that are starting to, to mm -hmm. open up and, and do some things, writing and, and producing, and you know what you guys are doing. Um, and I think you're going to see a real big pickup in, in the activity of, of good good programming, good quality productions. Yeah. Can you name any of the people that we should be keeping an eye on, or that viewers oh, can? Oh gosh. In the area that you would recommend people to. Well, uh, Trisha with? Harmon. You know, I just because oh, yeah. I know her. Yes. Um, yeah. Just an amazing lady, um, a spokesperson. She does so much, Absolutely. and she's just got a servant's heart. Um, she's a, she's amazing. Uh, Cheryl Dupre, I don't oh, know if you know. Oh, we love Cheryl. We Carol, love Cheryl. Carrie Bradstreet, I just did a little photo shoot with her. She's from the Grand Rapids area. I've done some productions with her, a great Christian lady. Um, it, it's growing. Yeah, yeah, I think people are, and I think it's encouraging people mm -hmm. when they start seeing others stepping out and doing things. They're like, you know, maybe I can do this. So, Good. Yeah, Good. it's exciting. Yay. Very exciting to have Burke here right in the studio. That's one of the benefits of having a studio in our church. People can drop in and spread the love of Jesus Christ at any time. That's right.